American civil rights activist Rosa Louise Macaulay Parks is best known for playing a crucial part in the Montgomery bus boycott. She has received recognition from the U.S. Congress as the mother of the freedom movement and the first lady of civil rights. In 1943, Parks joined the NAACP and took part in a number of well-known civil rights campaigns. Parks disobeyed bus driver James F. Blake's request on December 1, 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, to give up a row of four seats in the colored section for a white passenger after the white section was full. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, thought that Parks was the best candidate to see through a legal challenge after her arrest for civil disobedience in violation of Alabama segregation laws, and she assisted in inspiring the black community to boycott the Montgomery buses for more than a year. Parks was not the first person to oppose bus segregation. State courts dragged their feet on the subject, but the federal Montgomery bus case Browder v. Gale led to a November 1956 ruling that bus segregation violates the Equal Protection Clause of the U.S. Constitution and is therefore illegal. The Montgomery bus boycott and Parks' act of defiance both came to represent the cause. She organized and worked with civil rights activists like Edgar Nixon and Martin Luther King Jr., becoming an international symbol of the struggle against racial segregation. Parks was the secretary of the Montgomery NAACP branch at the time and worked as a seamstress at a nearby department store. She had recently completed a program at the Tennessee-based Highlander Folk School, which trains advocates for racial equality and workers' rights. She endured death threats for years after being fired from her work, despite the fact that she was ultimately universally praised for her actions. She relocated to Detroit soon after the boycott and briefly found employment there. She worked as John Conyers' secretary and receptionist from 1965 to 1988. Conyers is an African-American U.S. representative. She was also active in the American political prisoner support movement and the Black Power movement. Parks wrote her autobiography after retiring and persisted that the fight for justice still needed to be won. Parks earned numerous honors, including the Congressional Gold Medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the NAACP's 1979 Spingarn Award, and a posthumous statue in the National Statuary Hall of the U.S. Capitol. She was the first woman to be laid to rest in the Capitol Rotunda after passing away in 2005. Rosa Parks Day is observed in California and Missouri on February 4th, the day of her birthday, and in Ohio, Oregon, and Texas on December 1st, the day of her arrest.